in the kitchen we're going to use the B series and make some sorbet some mango sorbet so let me pull over what we've got here I've got some mango I want to put some lime in with this mango and we've got some maple syrup okay so there's an extra attachment which you can get it's an optional extra and it helps make juicing citrus fruits like oranges um, grapefruits and limes a lot easier let me show you that because we're going to do that first easy to just pop the headset off like i just did there pop the citrus attachment here you've probably all had the old school where you're using your citrus juicer like that at home well this machine this little attachment is going to do it for you let me show you easy as putting the uh, oranges or the grapefruit or the lime on top and it will extract some juice let me try show you here so we're just going to cut that one up i've got a second lime here i'm just going to grab that one as well and show you how we can make how easy it is to use the machine switch it on and that's all it takes to just extract maximum amount you're going to get so much more with so less less work it's got a nice it's got a nice jug underneath which is going to catch the juice for you and then you can just pour it into your recipe so with the mango sorbet that I'm making, I want to put some lime in with it. So let's, before I feed it into the juicer, we're just going to put some lime juice on that. Fantastic. And then what I want is a little bit of maple syrup for this one. So pour in a little bit of maple syrup there. Right, so now my mango lime juice is, mango lime sorbet is ready to go. Okay, so let's get the uh, juicer in place. I've got the sorbet strainer inside of the machine. So this is the extra attachments that you can get with the cold press juicer that helps you to make sorbets, frozen desserts, ice creams. Today we're making the sorbet. Okay, so turning that on. All you need to do is to grab your spoon and just feed it slowly straight into the top of the machine. And what you'll see is the mango sorbet starting to come out. Ah, oh, it smells so good already. So we're just squeezing and pressing when we're making the sorbet. A little bit more. I've got about, about two cups of mango here. And I've put the juice of one lime and then a tablespoon of maple syrup to give it that little bit of extra sweetness. Listen how quiet it is, guys. All we're doing is squeezing and pressing. There's no fast spinning metal blades blending it all up. It's just squeezing and pressing the fruits. Okay, look at that. Can you see that there? Let me put it into a, uh, into a bowl for you so you can get the feel of it. Now mango, I really love uh, mangoes when they come into season and they're actually a really good dessert to have at the end of a day because the mango helps to increase serotonin levels in the body and if you know about serotonin it helps you get a good night's sleep. So this little dessert, having that at the end of the night, I'm sure it's going to help you go get a good night's rest. Let's do the taste test shall we? It's, I can tell already how creamy it is. Mm. 
and the lime just gives it that little bit of tanginess as well. This is a really good recipe. I have to have a second one. Mm.